in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a login page so for your website if you want like users to log in members or if you want to create an application file or a, any information system that requires a login page I'll show you how to create it. First things first I'm just gonna change my stage size to 900 by 600 okay once I've done that change the background color to anything you wish okay then I'm gonna insert three layers First one's going to be called actions. Second one's going to be called login, as this is where the login details will go. And third one, pages. So once you've logged in, it's going to go to um, the different pages. First thing, go to login layer. Make sure you select on login layer. Insert text. So first one will be username. So the user will enter his username there. And below that, I'll have password. Okay, so, so just place these accordingly now. Username, got password. Okay, then what I'm going to do is open up the components panel. If you don't already have this open, make, go to Windows and then Components. Okay, from the control, co components panel uh, toolbar, what I'm going to do is get the text input. So this one here, drag one there and one there so one next to username one name next to password it's going to change that size to 150 and 150 okay change it to whatever size you want you don't have to do the exact same size as me okay so i'm going to put that there so this is where the user will enter his username and password okay underneath that we're also going to get a button Okay, if you want to make a fancy button, look at one of my other videos that I've got on my channel that, where you can create your own button. Okay, insert that button there. And I'm going to name that button login. The size of that as well, 150. Okay, so there's our login page. Now, what we're going to do underneath that, we're going to get a text tool. This time, we're going to change that to classic text and then we're going to change it to dynamic text okay so we make sure classic text is selected and dynamic text okay and what you're going to do is draw a box underneath here okay this is where the message will go so I'm going to change the font size there 20. okay this is where the message will go if a user has incorrectly entered some uh, the username and login okay so that's done now so in total, you should have your two label, sorry, text inputs, your login button, and your dynamic text. Okay, once you create your dynamic text, what I want you to do is change it to TLF text, and then whatever font you've chosen, embed that, give it a name, uh, font one. That's it. Okay, what you're going to do now, give these um, objects an instance name. So the first one I'm going to call username. Okay, username actually one. I'm going to call this one password one. Okay, remember with instance names, you have to remember what you've saved them as, as you will need to, uh, when you write your action script, you'll need to remember for later on. And uh, final one, what's this? text one okay so that's it that's our login page done now what we're going to do is go to unlock that so lock that unlock pages go to frame two insert a blank keyframe and here we're just going to put some text in there okay this could be normal text classic text uh, static text okay you can write login successful if some login successful because then that tells the user that they have successfully logged into the page and we can just test that out later on okay once you've done that now what I'm going to do is going to go back to frame one I'm going to lock that unlock the actions layer okay and in here press F9 and I'm going to write my script so stop open bracket close bracket semicolon First thing, I'm going to write my function. So I'm going to create a function that checks a password. So, so a login and a password. So function, I'm going to call it pass 
word check. Then what I'm going to do is open bracket, press E, declare a mouse event. Close the bracket. Okay, void, then open curly bracket, enter. Okay, in that curly bracket, I'm going to do an if function. So if, and whatever I've named my first box, so user name one dot text equals, oops, exactly user and so at, use the and sign that's on shift and seven or also known as the ampersand okay pass word one dot text equals equals password and then close the button okay so what this does is if username dot one so basically here um, let's look at that so this bit, so this text box that we've created here, so if username equals user, so if the person has entered user, and also if in the password one, they've entered password, so that's the password that you've created, then do something. So what we're gonna do, so if that's true, what we're gonna do is go to and stop uh, frame two, okay? So obviously, if that is true, if the username is correct and the password is correct, then go to frame two, which says login successful. Okay, so I've done that. Uh, okay, so that's it. Make sure you close the bracket. And if it's not, what we're gonna do is else, open curly brace, so we're gonna do something else. Uh, what do we say that? We call it text one dot text equals and then write what you want that text to equal. You have entered an incorrect username slash password. Okay, that's it. And semicolon that. And that's it. That's your function. So the function, you call it pass check. You set it to mouse event. So if the username dot one equals user and the password dot text equals password, then go to and stop at two. If not, if that is not true, then in the dynamic text box that you created, just um, display the text you have entered an incorrect username slash password. Okay, so now what we're going to do is assign that function to a button. So we called it login one dot add event list I'm sorry capital e, event list no list okay and that event is a mouse event on a click and our function password check Semicolon. Okay, so let's. Um, I should be fine now. Let's run that. Let's see if we've got any errors. Okay, we have got an error. What's the error? Property log on. Oh, sorry. Um, wait, let's just check what we call this again. Login button. We call it login. Action script. We wrote. Oh, log on. It should be log in. Sorry. My mistake. Okay, so now we're going to enter our username, which was user. And we're going to enter our password, which was password. Okay, excellent. So let's, login has been successful and created a successful login page. So what we can do is, um, if you notice, when you entered your password, it displays the password. If you want that to be hidden, what you do is you go to your text input. And over here, in the component parameters, you click on the property that says display password. If you check that, now it will hide that password. So if we try entering a password, it will just um, hide it in asterisks. Okay, so that's how you create a login page um, 
in for a website or if you want to create any application using Adobe Flash.